So if this was in uh, a real person, I would typically put on the extension. So if you have the spade drill, you would feel for the hamular notch, find the distal of the tuberosity, and then we're going to go about one hour over. Now, on average, we'll come up about 10 millimeters or so, angling towards the medial plate. So now I would drill, and I would keep drilling until either I pop through there. What I would usually do next is take the two osteotome and go in. However, these models are more dense. So again, we're aiming medially. There, drill till it pops through. See, it's angling towards the medial plate. If this was in the mouth, like in the videos I showed, I would just be tapping and listening for the change in the sound. Because the bone's getting denser. Now, you can go up to the next drill. Next, if you use the three millimeter osteotome, you'll see that it does not go in very far. And that was similar to what I was showing on the video. We can go up to the next drill, which is the 3.2. Okay. So again, I should be able to get this three millimeter osteotome much deeper. So this model is very dense. So I'll start it slow. Okay. Now, if you want to use this uh, driver, you can use the driver and do this by hand. Place the implant this way. So I've always just used the hand piece, but you can use this and you'll feel the bones very dense. And typically what I'll do in the mouth is use the long driver that I was showing you, the 40 millimeter driver. And I'll just tighten and then loosen and then tighten and loosen until I get down to the depth of the platform. But as you can see, this is starting to come into the fossa. And, but should finish abutted up to somewhere on the medial plate. But you can see how this is coming out at this angle, basically into the medial plate. And so now this would more than likely be a 30 degree abutment that will come out now relatively straight.